This is Max, and over there is Monty, and they're both twin dump trucks for the Sodor Construction Company from Thomas and Friends. Here is what they look like. And uh, they are pretty devious and reckless, so they always get into trouble, it seems like. But, you know, they are still hardworking uh, pieces of machinery. And the way you can tell between the two is basically the number here on the side. Uh, so Max is going to be number 15, while Monty is 16. So that's a way you can tell between the two. And this video is commissioned by Brandon Satterfield. So thanks to him for making this video possible and, you know, just supporting my work. I really appreciate it. Uh, but anyways, let's get started. So first, we're going to grab some materials. We'll take out nether brick slab, red concrete, black concrete, blackstone bricks, uh, dark oak button, and uh, smooth quartz, block and stairs, a uh, dark oak fence gate, and a dark oak trap door. So first off, let's make a wheel first. It's going to be... Um, Polished blackstone brick, two blocks like that, and then a two by two of red concrete, and then polished blackstone brick on the top and on the sides. So that's going to be one wheel. And then we'll add in another brick slab right over here. And we're going to make it four blocks wide, so one, two, three, four. And we're going to add this to the ends like this, add in a black concrete two blocks wide in the middle like that. And then I'm going to make the other wheel for the other side. Just pretty much do the same thing over here. That. And then in the front of this, we'll add in dark oak trap doors all along the front. And then we'll add in a row of dark oak fence gates. So next, we'll take out black concrete. We'll add in a 2x2 two two here, the back of that. And then two upside down. Polished blackstone brick stairs. The top row, we're going to add in two blocks wide, black concrete, and 14 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to add black concrete right over here, two blocks wide, and make it 14 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That. Two blocks wide, cross from the front to the back. All right, so then in the back, we'll add in these polished blackstone bricks, two blocks wide, and then two by two, red concrete. And you're pretty much going to make another wheel just like we did in the front. Same thing on the other side. Red concrete, two by two, and yeah, we just recreate it. Now these uh, dump trucks, they actually have an additional uh, pair of wheels in the back wheel. So these are kind of like two wheels together. So we're going to make it just like another block thicker. So it's two blocks wide. Just extending it out. Alright, so it looks like that. And then we'll add in dark oak buns. We're going to make it two by two. On the sides where the rims are like that I don't even know if it's the proper term to call it rims anyways uh, next up let's add in his face so that's going to be smooth quartz block a two by two and then smooth quartz stairs back to back on top then we're going to add in um, black concrete going to make it two by three We'll make a two by three of red concrete here. And then we'll make a two by four of red concrete here. And this outer part, we're gonna make it two by three. Then we'll add in a two by three in the back of the cab here. Black concrete, four blocks wide here. Red concrete, two blocks wide here. And then Acacia Stairs make this back-to-back -back three blocks long. And Acacia Stairs in these corners uh, right over here. Red concrete in the middle. And we'll add in Acacia tra um, Trap Doors and open them up on the sides and back-to-back -back here in the middle. 
And there will be um, another brick slab underneath this black concrete on the side. Other side, same thing. And then a row of acacia trap doors in the front of the cab. Then we'll add in a 2x4 of smooth stone slabs. And we'll take out um, acacia buttons. We're going to add that three blocks wide here on the side. Dark oak trap. Uh, fence gate here and then trap doors on either side. We're going to close them up like that. And, and we'll do the same thing on the other side right here. Then we'll add in sort of like this wheel covering using nether brick slabs. Wrap that around the wheel. And the other side we'll do the same exact thing. All right, so it looks like that. All right, so then we're going to go in the back here. We'll add in nether brick stairs so that they're facing each other. And nether brick slabs underneath like that. Then above here, we'll add in these two stone stairs like that. And then we're going to go on top, add in stone block like that, two blocks wide. And we're going to extend this so it goes back to the cab all the way like that. Then we'll add in stone slabs, and this is going to be going across and lining up actually the one block past the outside of the wheels like that. Uh, the dumper is actually pretty big. All right, so once we're done with that, let's add in um, stone on top of here. It's going to be three blocks tall here on the side. that and we'll add in another two in front of this and then upside down stone stairs and then we're going to add in stone stairs so that it goes all the way across that and then we'll add in this um, andesite wall inside here and then stone stairs again and then I'm going to make this go all the way across side of this and then we'll add in stone stairs inside here and this should go all the way across all right so the inside part of this is to be placing just the stone stairs inside like that I don't know what I did for my original one I, think I just put like a regular stone block so let me add that instead like that it looks like this and then we'll add in um, anisate wall two blocks tall stone and then we want to make sure that there are going to be four actually five anisate walls so this could be one and two and three four and then five I guess it just goes up until where we have the cab there so we'll do the same thing on the other side here just making this pattern like that and then we'll add in stone lock on top and we're gonna make this go all the way to the back other side we'll do the same thing Then we'll add in an andesite wall, two blocks tall here. Skip a block two, and then add in stone block in the middle. Other side will do the same thing. Then we'll add in a stone slab over here in the middle of this sides. And then we'll go underneath here and add in stone slabs, two blocks outwards. I'm going to make this go all the way across. Towards the outside like that. And then there's going to be this stone block where we have the inside of all these andesite walls. Just fill that in. I guess just to fill in that area there. 
And the other side will do the same thing, just add in stone slabs, two blocks like that, all the way across. And then stone all the way inside. Like so. And then we'll add in another layer of stone on top of that other stone. Just to make things more um I guess streamlined. Alright, so next up let's add in uh this part right over here. So that's gonna be stone and one, two, three. I guess three blocks tall, other side, same thing. Like so. And then we'll add in um, andesite wall, I believe, after this. So then we'll add in andesite wall, two blocks tall here, both sides, and then stone underneath it. And then in between it, like that. So, next up here, um, We'll add in a stone slab right in front of this uh, stone block over here. So next we'll add in stone slab in front of the stones. Make this go all the way across like that. And then we'll need to add in... <laughs> it's actually kind of be a little bit tricky to build this top section though. So let's see, let's add in stone stairs first, and we're gonna make this pretty much like a border around it. That's what we're gonna do first, and then we're gonna have to modify it. Just make that border. Like that. And we're gonna make this outer, like this one towards the back, just facing towards the back. So it's gonna be cornered like that. And then we'll add in, um, <clears throat> Upside down here on the sides, facing outwards, and then skip a block and then add upside down again. Should be like that. Alright, then on the left hand side, we'll add in another brick wall, three blocks tall, so one, two, three. Another brick fence over here. And then we shall add in this like little step ladder here, so that's going to be. Um, acacia trap door right over here and then we'll add another one underneath and we want to make sure that this one is going to be like this and then we'll add acacia trap doors to the sides and close them up just so we can have like this closed shape to it like that and we're going to do the same thing on the other side just pretty much go in the middle of that Add it to the sides. Alright, and then this corner here. Alright, so very good so far. Alright, so now uh, let's add in a bit more detail on the bottom here. So there's like a little uh, air tank here. Let's make that. So skip a block here at two blocks wide and two blocks tall of nether brick slabs like this and then we'll add in black concrete in the space in between and then nether brick slabs two blocks wide there and we're going to extend this black concrete all the way to the back as well as this nether brick slab all the way to the back like that all right then we're going to add in a wither skeleton skull for lamps in the front just to add a pair like that all right, so the, yeah, this is actually the basic design. Now we have to number it whether you want to make uh, Max or Monty, so. All right, so now we're gonna make some banners. So let's first make the one banner. So to make that, you just need a white banner, red dye, make a border around it, put it back in, and I'm gonna add a red dye again. This time we're gonna go across the half of it. So we wanna make sure, sort of like, on the left hand side, red, like that. So this is gonna be our one, and the one's pretty much just gonna be the same thing uh, for either Max or Monty. So let's just add that first. And now we have to make the five and the six. So let's first make the five. So for this, we're gonna be using a red banner. 
And then we'll need a white dye. We're going to make um, a line across the bottom. Put it back in, and then we'll add it in red dye. We'll make a diamond shape. This diamond shape. That. And then we'll add in a diagonal using white dye. Put it back in, and a line across the top row. Put it back in, and then a red border around it. So yeah, this is going to be our five if you want to make Monty. And now to make the six. So to make the six, uh, take a red banner again, a white dye. We're going to make a line across the right hand column. Put it back in, add in red dye. We could go across the top half of it. So trying to find out. Yeah, right here, like the top two thirds. And then we'll add in white dye. We'll make a line across the right left hand side. And then the top side, and then the middle, and then the bottom. Then we'll make a red dye border around it. So apparently I used up too much. What? Alright, so I tried making it, but you know, I guess you can't really put the six uh, in default. Like, it's just like one element off. I'm actually using a plugin to make these banners, so... Oh well, we just have this basic six, so the six might be a little bit too big. So if that's an issue, if you guys just make the one smaller, so take a white banner, red dye, and then we're just going to go across half of it. And uh, yeah, let's see what that looks like. So it would look something like this, because the six, I didn't realize you can't really make that completely uh, in default, but that's how you make it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, how to make Max and Monty in Minecraft. Thanks a lot to Brandon Satterfield for commissioning this video and making this video possible. If you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.